Hi everyone. I'm excited to introduce you to our new export options brought to you in the 2022.2 edition. These export options enable users to continue editing their garment using external 3D software. We know how time consuming certain tasks can be for artists working in 3D. So we went ahead and added a couple new features to our export options to help you improve the 3D artist workflow. Let's start with the latest quads export option. This option matches the garments mesh with the industry standard. Whereas before it was only possible to export the 3D object with triangle topology. Now you can export it with quads topology. V-Stitcher simulation already provides geometry with a grid structure that can be previewed with the tension map. The quads export will have the same grid structure, which is very convenient for additional editing. Although the triangulated mesh is great for 3D fabric creation and accurate drape, when working in an external 3D modeling tool, it can be challenging to make any additional changes to this topology. You can find the quads topology checkbox in the export pop-up window under the geometry section. The quads output works best with enhanced layer blending turned on, which is the default garment mode. Another export option is weld stitches. It unifies the geometry in a similar way to the stitching tool in V-Stitcher. The edges of individual pattern pieces will be welded together, ensuring that the pattern pieces will not fall apart when creating animations using external software. The weld stitches are applied on the garment geometry only, not the avatar nor the 3D trims. Note, the stitches between edges and internal lines or internal points will not be welded. The next export update is the optimized 2D space, also known as pack UVs. This feature optimizes the layout of the pattern pieces in the UV map. The pack UVs option is available only when choosing the single UV layout for all pattern options. These automatic 2D arrangements are for export purposes only while the 2D layout of the browseware file stays the same. By using this feature, we can obtain better image quality without increasing the texture resolution for our exported maps. For this demo, I'll use a 4K image. All the new export options are available for all 3D formats. Now let's export our garment as an FBX file and import it into Blender. When opening the file in Blender, we can see the image's texture that was exported with the PAX UV. As you can see, there's no excess space between the pattern pieces. You'll also notice that the fabric has maintained its texture quality without blurring, even though we use a low texture size for the export process. Moving on to the 3D object, let's create an animation. You can see the welded stitches have held the pattern pieces together. Using the quads export, you can easily edit the garment. I'll add some details to the bodice. By editing the edge, I'm creating an ironed line effect. We hope you'll enjoy working with these new export options and take your 3D garment creation to new dimensions. <laughs>